So literally, you could take a 60-year-old male who stopped producing muscle in his 40s and eliminate their visceral fat, tell them what they've got to do to make sure they don't get it, and then if they start lifting weights, they're going to start putting on muscle like they were in their 20s again. It's crazy. What exactly is visceral fat? Because it comes up again and again these days in the media. Uh, what is it? Uh, how does it increase? And then we can go on to, to then how we deal with reducing the amount of visceral fat in our system. Yeah, so visceral fat is this uh, uh, fat depot. So it's a collection of fat inside the body. And, you know, I like to tell people that not all fat is the same. There's actually really beneficial good fat, like brown adipose tissue, sometimes called brown fat that's associated with uh, enhanced mitochondrial presence and metabolism and the ability to generate heat and just overall better health. And uh, there's also a really good beneficial fat called superficial subcutaneous fat. And that's the fat that's outside your body, but in a very superficial plane. And then there are bad fats. So uh, right below the superficial uh, fat that's separated in the subcutaneous area of the body is a, met by a membrane called scarpus fascia is another type of subcu fat called deep subcutaneous fat and deep subcutaneous fat behaves like visceral fat it generates inflammatory molecules and it's aligned and associated with a lot of disease so right away i like to tell people not all fat is the same there's bad fat there's good fat and a really bad player is this visceral fat and the sad thing is, having just kind of talked a little bit about that, um, and I am a physician, I learned all of that after medical school. It's not taught in medical school. And so no physicians around the world know about this deep, dangerous visceral fat. And so there's some clever ways of uh, calling it or identifying it. So one is invisible obesity. So you can think of it as obesity that's inside of you that you don't know about. It's invisible. Or another term that I like, that radioactive fat. And I think that's a good way to describe it because it's so inflammatory. It's so disease-causing. You can think of it as, as radioactive. And it's, you know, the, uh, the, the capacity to influence your whole body really is um, significant in this substance. So this deep belly fat, inflammatory fat, radioactive fat, invisible obesity. It's uh, concealed mostly in your abdomen and it wraps around your organs in your abdomen. And uh, it would also include um, fat that's outside your abdomen up in your chest, like around your heart in your mediastinum area, so surrounding your heart. So these the, the, the real problem and culprit of this visceral fat is it is it's constantly secreting these inflammatory molecules that go out and cause problems throughout the body. So one of the take home points about visceral fat that your listeners should be aware of is it's the influence of visceral fat and not so much the presence of it. So, you know, if you were to open somebody up and surgically remove all of their visceral fat, you would see no, and then close them up, you would see no demonstrable difference in them immediately from doing that. But um, you would, over a period of time, if provided they did not go back and start regaining that visceral fat, then their body would be more healthy in all its response, hormonal production, uh, myokine production, the ability to grow muscle. So literally, you could take a... 60 year old male who stopped producing muscle in his 40s and eliminate their visceral fat, um, tell them what they've got to do to make sure they don't get it. And then if they start lifting weights, they're going to start putting on muscle like they were in their 20s again. It's crazy, but this is what we see. Now, we don't surgically remove it. We're, in my research, we identify it by MRI, we get rid of it, documenting it's gone by MRI, and then as people start lifting weights, they have these dramatic changes in their body. And so here's the take home point if you're listening. It's like the fountain of health, not so much the fountain of youth, 
but it restores your healthy condition when you were younger. Young people are uh, without the presence of disease, they have health. Old people are just usually uh, manifestations of, of people with disease. So I tell young people, you wanna see what disease looks like, what you will look like when you're diseased, look at your parents. And I tell parents, do you want to see what you would look like if you got rid of visceral fat? Look at your kids. If you enjoyed that video, I know you'll get some value from this video right here.